Hi, I'm Eric from Wild Food UK. I'm in Shropshire and it's the end of July. And what I found is one of the greater Belitali family here, which is the Larch Belit. It's actually a Sewerless, it's in the, in the bigger Belit family. These are a very common mushroom that grow obviously with Larch trees. I'll show you some Larch trees in a minute. I've picked this one to show you. It's a Belit, it has pores instead of gills. On this particular uh, Belit or Sewerless, it actually has a ring. I'm not sure you can see the ring there, which you don't normally get on one of these. And that ring also, when it's a lot smaller, will be joined to the cap. And it looks a little bit like the uh, veil of a Cortinarius, but underneath it has the uh, sponge-like pores. It's not the best mushroom, I must say, for edibility. It's quite a nice one, it's better dried, because it will retain some texture once dried and reconstituted. But with the Sulus, even on a hot day like today, and we've had no rain, it's still got a very slimy cap. And the slime on the cap can make some people a little bit ill. So we always peel the slime off the cap of these. Equally, particularly with the Sulus, we'll get rid of some of the pores as well, just because they don't, they, they get slimy, basically. They're not very nice to eat. And by spreading them, we're giving the, the Larch Belit a chance to, to procreate. So, like I say, it's called the Larch Belit. It's actually a Sulus, um, but it is a mushroom we will eat. They're very, very common. And I don't know if we're gonna get them in shot, but they grow with these tall, straight trees. They're larches. And this is the Larch Belit. So if you wanna find out more, just go to www.wildfoodsuk.com.